Hey, it's Kevin Agnes, and today I want to show you the New Neighbor Audio Emerge Mark II pedal, which in my opinion is one of the sickest reverb pedals on the market today. So let's just dive into a quick little overview of it. As you can see, there's stereo ins and outs, and you could do any possible imaginable combination that you want, and they're all high quality buffered bypasses. As you can see, you have five switches. The middle one is you can choose between eight different stereo reverbs, and the mix knob you could go to 100% wet signal. The depth knot controls the decay usually, but on the echo algorithm, it actually controls the amounts of repeats. This is kind of a chameleon button, just dependent on the color, as you can see in the algorithm, it has a different function. So as you can see uh, on the black button, it's actually a bend c blend control, so that is shimmer, detune, and echo. Well, if you're on the brown ones, which is hall, spring, and sustain, it's actually a modulation button, so it controls the amounts of modulation. While on the wet and the plate, it actually controls the pre-delay. Now this is kind of similar, but it's generally a tone control, unless you're on the echo or sustain, where it controls time. Uh, other than that, this pedal has two little switches which can be like a kill dry if you're running like a parallel FX loop or it can control the trail which I like leaving on so when, when you turn the pedal off, the reverb just naturally kind of fades out in a, in a really nice way. Um, it requires 9 or 12 volt DC, just center negative, 100 milliampers, not more than that so it's very easy going and uh, other than that, let's just check out what it sounds like. Alright, so let's start with the wet algorithm, which is New Neighbor Audio's most famous reverb. This is actually the third version of the wet, and according to the website, this one has a smoother decay, and is also more three-dimensional sounding. Now what I really dig about the wet is how wet it actually can get without really drying your tone. Anyway, the mix and depth are normal, this is a tone up and as you see it's beige so it's a pre-delay and the pre-delay can separate the dry and wet signal to up to 200 milliseconds so it can really emulate how big of a space the reverb is supposed to be. Let's check out the dry signal. <laughs>
All right, so a plate reverb doesn't need any introduction. It's meant to emulate some of those metal plate sort of things. Now, I always like a good hall reverb, and this is still a tone knob mixed up, but as you can see, it's now under the brown, so it's now under modulation, and it adds a little modulation effect. Let's check out the dry signal. <laughs> Thank you. 
so the spring reverb doesn't need any introduction. The mod here adds more of like a vibrato sort of a thing. Let's check it out. Now the next one is very unique. This is a sustain mode which is based off of the wet. However, there's a hold phase and there's like a release one. And obviously it's brown so it's modulation here and then mix. Let's check it out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, so let's dive into the echo algorithm. Now the echo actually adds a delay into the reverb and the depth now has an additional function which is the amount of delay repeats. This is still time and it's, the range is from 50 milliseconds to 700 milliseconds. And as you can see, it's now under the black so it's now a blend knob and it's blend between the delay, which is on the left, right side, I mean, and then it's the reverb on the left side. Let's check it out. Let's check out the detune, which adds kind of more of a chorusy thing that slightly turns the reverb down in pitch. And the blend up here is a mix between like the chorus-like effect and the reverb. This is back to being a tone knob now, so it's the tone of the of the reverb, obviously mix, and then we have the depth. <laughs>
last algorithm is the shimmer effect, which is almost like an octave sort of a thing that is on the reverb. Let's check it out. <laughs> Well, thanks for hanging out with me today during this little review. I hope you like the sounds from this little box. I definitely do. And with nothing else to say, I'll see you next time.